Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a power window motor on this 2001 Sequoia, same as any 01 to 04 Sequoia. We do the driver's front uh, procedure is similar for any one of the doors. And uh, this vehicle, actually, the window motor that we uh, work on is working fine, so we just take it out and put it back in to show you. Tools you'll need are a flat blade screwdriver, both regular and small size, Phillips screwdriver, a door panel clip tool or a putty knife, a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet with extension, T25 Torx driver socket, and some painter's tape. Your batteries here on the driver's side. Uh, you want to disconnect your negative battery cable, which should be the one closer to the fender. Loosen it, pull it up off the terminal, and tuck it down on the side. You start up here with the flat blade screwdriver. Carefully pry at the top and pull this up and out. Okay, then there's so your switch panel here. Insert your screwdriver right in the middle, the front, and it's a little unnerving. It eventually comes, but you have to pry up pretty hard. Okay, your switch panel comes up and out. Then there's a little tab right here. Press that down, disconnect. Okay, next, there's a little um, detent here. Pull this little plug out. And then on your um, courtesy light here, put your uh, screwdriver in at the front and pry out. Uh, there's a little metal clip. You kind of heard it fall down in the door. It'll fall out in a second. Uh, but then you pull this right off. Then you'll need a smaller flat blade screwdriver. The little trap door in your uh, door handle here. Just pry that out and you'll see a Phillips screw. And then also here is a little plug. Pry that off and there's a Phillips screw right there. And use your Phillips screwdriver. Fast forward here as we remove that screw, the one that is in the door handle, and then the one underneath the armrest as well. Okay, take your regular screwdriver again, put it in right above the lock here, and pry up and out on your bezel, and then down and out, and pull that right out. Now on the back edge of the door panel, there's two little pins. Push the center of the pins in. Okay, and then these clips come out. Take a door panel clip tool and kind of insert it into the back here. Slide it up. You'll feel a clip. Try and go around the clip. Okay, pull it out. There's my little clip for my courtesy light. Okay, if you don't have a door panel clip tool like this, then a household putty knife works as well, as long as it has a tempered blade. Okay, once you release the clips, lift the door panel up and off. Clip or two, stay behind. Just use a pair of needle nose pliers and pull those out. right back into your door panel. Okay, even though I'm going through it in kind of fast forward, you want to make sure you slowly and carefully pull your water shield down. Uh, try not to rip it or stretch it too much. And as you're doing that, there's going to be three bolts that hold the speaker on. Remove uh, those three bolts and remove the speaker as well. This is where your power window motor is hooked in up here first. So I'm gonna press this tab and pull that out. Okay. And then I'm just gonna reaching up and releasing this clip that holds it. The 
regulator is held on by six bolts. There's two here that hold the track, and then there's four here that hold your um, motor assembly. And I'm going to start by taking these two off. Now, right now, my motor, my window is all the way in the up position. Um, you'll see you can take the regulator apart and then move the window down and then unbolt it. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward here as I remove uh, most of the bolts for the regulator and the track. You can see once I loosen that up, it started moving a little bit. I'm actually going to hold on to the window while I take this one out. Slowly let the window down. Okay. Okay, now you need to remove that bolt there and that bolt there to release the window from the regulator. And use a little fast forward as we remove those two bolts. Okay, those bolts released. is separate from the regulator. We'll pull the window back up. And that's why I raised up the window and secured it with some painter's tape while I work on the door. And now we can take our regulator. Okay, to replace the window motor, first you want to remove this balance spring. Just take a screwdriver, kind of pry it right up and off. Okay. okay, once you've gotten that off, then you just turn it right over. And there's three T25 torque screws that hold the uh, motor to the regulator. You're going to want a T25 Torx bit um, with a socket and a driver like this. And speed it up here as we just remove those three screws. Okay, and obviously to put it back on, put it on here line up the middle and you may kind of have to just push it in there and turn it back and forth a little bit and we'll speed up again uh, we start all three screws in first and after you start them in get them started in then uh, carefully tighten it up make sure that the gears of the motor don't bind with the uh, regulator at all and tighten up those screws nice and firm And we'll turn the regulator back over. And take a screwdriver. Just kind of pull this along and out. Put it right back on. Of course. Okay, so I threaded a bolt here. Okay. And then we have to bring it up and get this arm here. That and make sure this arm here slides in right there. Okay, and then bring this up and put that. Okay, so that bolt's right there. And we can start our other bolts in. And I'll fast forward here again as I just start in all the bolts. I start them all in first. Uh, then I get my socket and ratchet, tighten them up, and you want to tighten them up all nice and firm. You don't need to over tighten them though. Okay, now here I'm going to reconnect my power window motor, the lead, and I've already reconnected my battery. 
turn my key on. I can bring my regulator down. I can see the, both the holes here really well. Now here I'm just removing the painter's tape and then slowly sliding the window down until it's contacted with the regulator. Start in our bolt. And I'll speed up here. Really important, make sure you start both bolts in first uh, to make sure they're going and then tighten them up and again tighten them nice and firm. You don't have to over tighten them though. I want the battery hooked back up. Do a quick test. Okay, now I'm going to speed through. Uh, you want to put the lower part of your, actually or you can put the whole water shield back on and reinstall your speaker um, and just make sure that you pull the uh, all your harnesses through the correct spot in the water shield, um, reconnect your speaker as well as uh, put the door uh, handle cables through and reinstall your door handle as well. Put the door panel on, put it up in place. Okay, make sure you pull your window harness through and push this harness through right down here. And just kind of look back, make sure your pins are going in. the bottom. Make sure this goes down in correctly. Make sure that goes in. And we'll fast forward here again as I put the screw in underneath the armrest in the door handle um, as well as the front one and put that clip on and the little cover panels. Okay, on these pins make sure you push them out uh, so the center is sticking out. Then you push it into place and lock it in by pushing the pin flush. Um, again, push it out so the pin's sticking out. Put it in push the pin in flush to lock. And if you haven't already, uh, reconnect and tighten up your negative battery cable. We hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.